Hello and welcome. I'm Nefe42 and this is just a small video to update you on one little project that I've been doing, which is, um, I don't remember the last year, I had one of my friends, uh, I was printing parts for his Mandalorian armor. Since I had a lot of issues with the 3D printer, I kind of, it kind of got postponed a little bit. There was different things on the agenda, like trying to fix the printer first, obviously, because uh, we can't print stuff without the printer there. So since then, we have actually managed to use the printer. I've got it back into good quality prints, and I have actually started printing parts of a Mandalorian helmet. I will link the file in the description below. Um, what you need to see, is this is a big build guys this is my first massive build um and it's going to be well to me it's quite exciting anyway hopefully you guys will be excited too but i don't well you know each their own what i have behind me here is a big bundle of parts uh which will all connect together to form a massive helmet this is a 32 piece build and that is the full helmet of the the mandalorian armor um so we have a big collection of pieces back here i've tried taping it together it does kind of stick together but it's very awkward to use with tape because after a while it just kind of stops sticking i don't know why but with <laughs> oh, also i'm using the <laughs> i'm using the other the uh the, the the metal tape because i well i had it with me and i don't really need it other than taping it around the tip one little hint i don't know if it's actually useful or not but if you get this aluminium tape um i think i got it from halfords it was like four pounds or something like that what i've done with it is actually tape it around the little block uh on, before the nib on the top of the printer uh just to seal the heat in to, or to help seal the heat in so that the the, the blower doesn't actually affect hopefully uh either the sensor or the um or the heater itself uh because the heater was pointing straight at the um the fan and also because i've now replaced the sensor with the little dot ones um it does work it works perfectly but it's also very small and it doesn't take up the whole chamber. So I wrapped that up and hopefully that will seal the heat into that chamber so that it can take a better reading or a more reliable or accurate reading. So hopefully that's what's going on with that. <laughs> so yeah, that, that is what I did with the, with the tip. Um, and that is a little tip just for you guys. Just, uh, well, I, I, I don't know, it might not help at all. It might not help in the slightest, but I think it might have contributed towards slightly better prints for me anyway um i have all these pieces here <laughs> there's loads there's loads i have had to reprint a, several pieces of this uh in order to get a, a, a good enough print but let me just see if i can connect some of it together here now i don't know what is the best way to stick this stuff together i have asked previously people said to try a hot glue gun uh, maybe a uh, an actual 3D printer um, filament, uh, you know, the handheld kind of 3D printers, which could be interesting. I, I've never tried that, but I, I can imagine that maybe because you're using the 3D printed stuff, maybe it should stick the 3D printed stuff together quite well. So hopefully that would work, but I don't have one of them, so I'm not going to obviously try and use one. But what I'm going to try instead is a hot glue gun uh, and other people have also recommended maybe some kind of two-part epoxy. I'm not really sure uh, where I can get that from. Probably just B&Q or Wilkinson's or something like that just downtown. But yeah, I'll be able to find that somewhere and I'm going to try that uh, at some other point. I just wanted to show you guys these parts. So, I mean, now I come to think about it, there's not really much to show you about these parts uh, because obviously... They all need to connect together. I do have a picture of this actually. I'll show you that picture now. So instead of actually messed about with this parts and trying to show you it, I'll show you this picture now. And there you go. That is what this helmet looks like. Half of it anyway. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do another section of this. Uh, and I'm gonna try and record all of the prints. Um, 
Firstly, I need to do my other project, and that is to allow me to do that. Um, I need to use this uh, webcam over here, which I have. Um, I'll be putting, well, you'll find out soon. You'll find out soon. So keep watching. I've got another pretty cool DIY project coming up. Hopefully it doesn't break my printer completely. Uh, hopefully it'll make it a lot better, a lot stronger, and everything a lot smoother for it anyway. So yeah, we'll see that, how that goes. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you think. Follow me on Twitter. That's at Nathan42. And thanks for watching.